let the peace, love, and blessing of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Man is God. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. Spiritual food, said Matthew chapter 25, verse 40. And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it, Unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Quote, Faith and work. Brethren, have you understood the passage contained in the text? Anything regarded as insignificant is considered greatest before God. Do not allow anybody to deceive you. For whatever a man does in life is done to God. Desist from the unnecessary claim of having seeing God face to face because what is required is practicing the injunctions. The plain truth is you may know God but are not able to enter the kingdom of God. This is possible when you did not practice his injunctions. It is said, faith without work is dead. And conversely, work without faith is dead. If you do not adhere to the laid down ordinances in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, but continue to nurture the feeling that one day you start practicing the injunction, you would definitely perish. Multiplicity of God. Are you in heaven, earth, or sky? You are asked to surrender yourself to God wherever you are. Take note that anything you do is done to God. He is an all-knowing God. Therefore, nothing is hidden from Him. While here, if you steal money, certainly the money stolen belongs to God. Also, you indirectly abuse God when you abuse somebody every little thing done while here is directly done to God I have for uncountable times preached that whatever you do to your fellow man is indirectly done to God even when you flog a little child, you indirectly flog God and as a result, you are fit to be severely punished. Do not allow anybody to convince or mislead you that you are worshipping man. You are not worshipping man, tree, stone or mermaid, but are directly worshipping the Almighty God and you are fully blessed because of your submission to God. In any case, who would you honor and serve if you do not do so to man? You should realize 
that you would not be serving God if you serve anything beside man whom you see. This revelation is true because God always uses earthly events to draw comparison with heavenly situation. So, whatever is bound on earth is equally bound in heaven because man has bluntly refused to adhere to the admonition of God. His blood would be on his head if he perished. However, those who shall be saved would achieve salvation because they lived up to expectation. The house now erected in the new city of God, Biakpan, belongs to Mercy Fellowship. It is to be used as a health care center for all the sick, disabled, and less privileged ones. This bold step is the real work of mercy, which reflects the perfect work of God. This is what is expected of all the children of God. It is the work of Christ currently being carried out by the Mercy Fellowship. Every child of God is expected to emulate it. Do not always seek your interests, but rather demonstrate interest in the welfare of all creations of God. For no other people except those in the kingdom can do it. Brethren, a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let he who has ears hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.